is going on everybody, Albasky44 here from Gamer Fusion. So today at the GDC 2015, uh, NVIDIA announced a new console, it's called the Shield console, which basically is an Android console. What I mean by that is, it's going to be capable of 4K playback and capture, and um, it's going to be coming out May, in May 2015, so this year for $200. And what they said is the world's first Android 4K TV will be able to receive and catch a 4K at up to 60 frames per second very soon. Um, they have, what they're gonna do with this is the Nvidia Shield can run both local and stream games. VIA is Nvidia Grid subscription based uh, streaming service. So that's kind of like PlayStation Now or kind of like a Steam type thing. Uh, it's gonna launch with more than 50 games on the grid store. Uh, here's a picture right here of kind of what the layout's gonna look like. It's kind of like PlayStation and Xbox combined in a way, the way they're doing this. Um, I don't know how I really feel about that. There's a picture of the controller there too. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Some of the games they're gonna have though are like Doom 3, Crisis 3, Portal, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, Half Life 2, The Walking Dead. Metal Gear Rising, Batman, Ultra Street Fire, Metro Last Light, Dead Rising 2, Borderlands the pre-sequel, The Witcher, so they got some pretty good games on there. Uh, the set-top box and console hybrid packs, a uh, Tegra X1 processor, it also sports a uh, 256-bit bit Maxwell GPU and 3GB th of memory. Its body features a micro SD slot and micro USB 2. 0.0 port, two USB Type 3.0 ports, gigabyte Ethernet port, and an HDMI port. Uh, it's going to support Android Bluetooth 4.1, and will have Wi-Fi connections uh, and uh, sound over HDMI and an IR receiver. Like I said, it comes with a controller, and it's only going to cost $200. So it's pretty cheap compared to what the PlayStation 4 and um, Xbox One costs right now. And even this is a lot cheaper. Uh, than the Alienware stuff that we've seen too, those consoles. So, tell me what you guys think about this. It's, I just, I just don't think it can compete with the PS4, Xbox One, PC. Like, I just, I mean, I, I think it's a cool idea. It's got the power. Um, they were saying that this is double the performance of an Xbox 360, but that's a 360. This isn't a PS4 or Xbox One. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It looks cool though. That's the one thing I'm gonna get out of this right now. Nothing else to really say. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know, get some feedback on what you guys think about it. If you guys were gonna pick it up, if you're even interested, if it's even worth it. Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, they got some good games on there, but I mean, are the games gonna continue to be supported on this? I don't know. I really don't know. Is this going to be another Ouya? Could be another Ouya. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Just kind of wanted to let you guys know about it. Like the video, leave a comment. Please comment this one. Kind of want to get you guys' opinion on this. And as always, subscribe. Leave a like, too. Game Revision and Policy Gaming. Thanks, guys.